In this video we'll show how to calibrate a 4 to 20 mA pressure transmitter in a hazardous environment. We'll use the Wika CPH7000 intrinsically safe portable process calibrator to program the calibration sequence, supply and measure the pressure, collect data and download into Wika Cal software for reporting, and to create certification documents. To save time in the field, the calibration routine can be pre-programmed. In this example the output signal is 4 to 20 mA with 24 volt power. Add the serial and tag number. The pressure range, units and type. The milliamp signal range. And the accuracy of the device being tested. The next button reveals the reference standard. In this case, we are using the internal sensor set to PSI gauge. The other parameters are automatically detected. Select the number of test series and number of calibration points. The CPH7000 automatically calculates test points based on these choices. Or, each point can be selected using the touchscreen. Each test sequence is saved for reuse at any time. We'll use this pre-programmed sequence to calibrate the transmitter in the field. Collect tubing fittings, electrical leads and tools necessary to complete the calibration. Notify your plant control center to turn off power to the current loop connected to your target device and proceed to the field location. Using the manifold, isolate the transmitter from the process using the block valve. Disconnect the cap from the test port on the block and bleed valve. Slowly open the bleed valve to purge any gas or liquid from the transmitter. Connect pressure rated tubing to the CPH7000X calibrator. Connect the other end of the tubing to the test port on the block and bleed valve. Turn on the CPH7000X. Connect the calibrator test leads to the terminals and to the calibrator. and select Cal. Then choose the calibration sequence previously set and press the Recal button. Select the copied sequence. Double check the parameters previously set for the device under test and the reference standard. Press Start. If your calibration begins at zero gauge pressure, make sure the vent valve is open to atmosphere. When the zero point is stable press the Apply check mark, this records the reading. Close the vent valve and pump up to the next pressure. Use the adjustment knob to reach the desired pressure. Press the check mark when the reading is stable. Continue until all the readings are recorded. When done, the calibrator will indicate if the test item meets specification. This is your as found calibration. If the calibration fails, then adjustments should be made to the zero and span of the transmitter to bring it within specification and then calibrate again. The second calibration will be your as left calibration. When the calibration is complete, close the bleed valve and open the block valve. Disconnect the tubing and the test leads from the transmitter in the process. Replace the cap on the test port. Secure the electrical connections and repower the loop. Collect and record the calibration data using WikiCal software. The CPH7000X is a multifunction calibrator and is used in a variety of calibration and measurement functions on-site in hazardous environments, including pressure switch testing, and data logging, 
plus temperature monitoring and simulation of electrical process variables. For more information about the Wika CPH 7000, contact Miller Energy Incorporated. Call them toll free at 800-631-5454 or visit their website at www.millerenergy.com.